Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's K class. Today we would like to talk about the hand carve of this dome ring. The reason I wanted to do it is because sometime in the situation your client need to have something done really quick and to print a wax might take five to eight hours depends on the resolution so sometimes we just need hand carving so it's really nice to know the hand carving technique the things we will need is a block of the wax you can buy from the reel they come in six inch in different sizes um, in this particular one we have about 30 um, 31 millimeter wide by 32 ish millimeter tall we will also need a um, wax file it comes with two ends one is rougher one is finer i also use the uh, regular file number two to make it a uh, smoother surface just make sure your metal and wax file want to be separate We also need spiral saw blade, not a regular saw blade because it was stuck in there. So make sure you buy the spiral one. And a ring sizer. The wax ring sizer able to size from inside of the wax to carve out the wax from inside to be exact ring size. To mark it uh, precisely, we need a ruler and also the scriber and also the divider. So those are tools we are going to mark on the wax. First of all, we want to mark about 20 millimeter and that is the width we are going to carve or cut it out from the big wax. So I want to mark it all the way and make sure the edge is straight start to start from and use a spiral saw blade. I'm going to fast forward a little bit so we'll shorten our video time but you can kind of rotate it so it will cut it straight. Uh, we need to file it flat otherwise it won't be precise and also when you mark on it it's hard to see so here's the cat to tell you the form uh, this is what the end product is going to be so we want to starting from a block roughly like this as you can see I will try to save the material as much as possible so you want to utilize all the material so this is the block what I'd like to do to show you what's the next step is mark um, those lines so we can f have a guideline for filing. And I use the divider. Since I'm going to do half and that was 20 millimeter, so I'm going to mark on 10. And sometimes the little trick that I use is mark from each side if the line in the middle match so that's right in the center and you will see me do it again later on in this video and this is what I do try to find a center see there's a little gap there so I kind of make it a little bit bigger and still have a little bit gap so I try to mark it again now it's match so I'm going to use the age as a guideline to mark it all the way. Now I need to do is mark on the bottom for the quarter of the length. It's because I need to taper two in so here's the cat to show you what i'm going to do it's going to remove those two um, sides so on the bottom i need to remove the quarter of the length on the top i will keep the same 
How I do on a wax is I'm going to cut a piece of a paper. Make sure you have a straight edges and then you want to use it as a template. Let me flip on the other side. Use it as a template and use your scriber to scribe a line over there. It doesn't have to be really, really deep as long as you have a line there. So I'm going to fast forward the video and what I did is the, the same way to do all four sides. I like to use a baby powder to make the line clear. Uh, some people use white out. They both the same. It's just the baby powder smell better. After that is a bunch of a file. So I'm going to fast forward the video. Uh, as you can see that I try to file it flat. Make sure your file is touching the entire surface. And you also want to keep rotating your wax so that file can be flat. So once again, make sure your file cross, file cross entire surface. The next step, what we like to do is remove the top part. So we can get more close to the dome ring. So let's make some mark on the wax. Again, if your line is hard to see, it's because the surface is too rough. You might need to file it uh, smoother with the finer end so you can mark on it. And I also want to mark the center line as well. <coughs> and baby powder again. The whole process smells really good. All right, so now we have all the center line. We just need to kind of uh, eyeball it, use our hand to scribe a line there. Now, if it's gonna be a little bit square-ish, you can always file it later, but do your best to tangent the line from those three points. more baby powder to see the line okay it looks good now we need to remove those two corners and I'm going to use the rough side and fast forward a little bit to finish Be <clears throat> make sure your file can cross the entire surface and then try to move your wax, like rotate your wax while you're fouling, will help it to be a rounder and even surface. And it doesn't take too long to file it. The next step, we want to remove that angle to more close to the dome ring. As you can see from the side view. So what we like to do on the wax is I need to mark on the quarter of the length from the top. So that will be five millimeters. So I want to mark five millimeter on each of the end. On the bottom, we remove five millimeter already. So the quarter of it, the rest of the length will be two and a half millimeter. And then you want to mark it two and a half. And again, we are going to use our paper technique. So that allows us to mark on it. If 
fast forward to show you a quicker way shorten the video uh, and then you can see I do all four sides more baby powder so now you see the visible line over there those are the age we are going to file and we're gonna file from the age to the line we just draw in the angle as shown in the CAD drawing so make sure you file in the same angle we're holding your file and keep rotated in the same angle so we're gonna fast forward a little bit and you can see while I'm filing I'm rotating my wax all right and do the same thing on the other side file and rotate try to maintain the same angle as possible so this is almost finished Before we actually carve it into thinner, I actually want to remove uh, inside of the wax to make sure there's the same size. The reason if you don't remove it right now, um, your, when your wax getting really thin, it's hard to hold it and to do the inside of a ring shank, it might, be, it might break. So while it has a good thickness, uh, you don't want to do it after you hollow it, you want to actually remove a wax from inside of the ring right now my goal is to do seven and a half size so i try to rotate and push it at the same time to remove a wax from inside remember the ring sizer is tapered so we always need to flip it to do the other side to maintain the inside of a ring shank is flat so now both and is seven and a half then the inside of the ring shank is flat next what we need to do is remove more angle from it from this point you want to keep filing uh, the little angle and once you remove all the angle there will be kind of round and I will show you just in the minutes what I'm I was talking about in the cat drawing if you look at this cat drawing what we like to do now is to let me zoom in is to try to follow the curve by removing more angle so the angle once you remove it it will be close you're creating more angles but you are getting more close to the dome and after that you will just smooth it out all the tiny angle and then you will get it remember one thing is we don't want to remove our center line that mark because that is our guideline we want to remove it at the very end when you file try to file follow the uh, the dome so try to move your file with that like round uh, action or curve action so this is a fast forward to show you how I file this wax now this is almost done <clears throat> we can do some variation at this point maybe you want to carve some groove in there what you can do is you can use your still using your wax file and mark some line and carve the groove so you can get some variation from that Later on in other video, I'm, sh I'm going to show you how to hollow it and you can use different kind of a carving tool to get uh, 
different pattern on it or you can carve um, by adding a wax on the top to carve more like a relief or sculpting ring once I finish the rough uh, size of the, uh, the carving I'm going to change to the finer file and again I need to follow that curvature on the surface so when you file try to keep removing and I'm going to moving up even finer file and I'll keep filing until it gets really smooth and remove all the angle the very last step I want to use micro finish paper on this one this is a green it's about 400 great and I try to smooth it out if you use too fine of the paper um, it's gonna take a really long time and the wax gonna clock it uh, I find it this green color micro finish paper work really fine and after that you can polish on your jean uh, rub on any of the cloth and they will get really shiny thank you for watching see you next time